Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Sally Face. This is going to be the whole playthrough of episode two. And I just want to thank everybody for all the amazing support on episode one. I know this is one of those games that a lot of people have been asking me to play. And now that I'm finally playing it, I can see why episode one was really good. Episode two better be better than episode one. If you guys cool that you down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up. Because here we go. Man, you're still having those nightmares. I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. I literally just saw one in his kitchen, so that just proves that he's never made a sandwich in his entire life. But... But what? But what, Dignos? But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Uh-oh. I get anxiety when people say things like that. Come on. Like, if they're like, I have to tell you something, or we need to talk, or I need to show you something, I'm like, what? Ready? I guess. I mean, my head was literally in your chest. It's as ready as I'm ever gonna be. But we got earmuffs <laughs> over the mask. That's actually pretty cute. Hmm. There's no signal out here. Oh, my bad. I'm used to holding shift to run, but I guess we only have this cool little saucy walk. Whoa. How come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Oh, nice. Uh, treehouse? Who built that? Awesome! Yeah, who built that? I know damn well this guy did not build that. Or maybe they did. I don't want to assume. It makes an asshole out of me and only me. But let's see how cool this treehouse looks. It better be the sickest. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared oh no not the milk wait what what do you mean disappeared one day he was here and everything was okay and the next day he went to get milk and cigarettes and all of his things were still here his clothes his tools his wallet his driver's license everything he just disappeared damn i'm sorry larry i know how hard that is did your parents not get along no my parents loved each other they hardly even fought or anything it isn't what it sounds like my dad didn't leave us even if that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chung- Did I just say Chung? I mean Chug. Swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. What is it? The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own. But I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Miss Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off. That old bag. I felt horrible though. That poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. He did two weeks in the slammer for killing a rabbit? Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit! What? I've seen it too! I've seen your demon! No way. When? I swear, I've seen it in this building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. 
Yeah, you do. You have your whole life ahead of you, bro. But let me see what you got up here. Oh, that was your dad? I've seen that guy. He has a whole different family now. Huh, that's strange. What is that? Wait, I have seen that guy? Mr. Egghead? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. Okay. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. So the gearbox kind of lights up whenever there's ghost activity? That's a yoga type stretch. But we have Nature Life book. Uh, we have Rockly. Was that Rockly or Rocky? And we have a Rubik's Cube and some other bullshit. Oh, I can actually click on it. Okay, so a bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines seem like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. This is some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like it's sealed shut. I was actually looking at that. I didn't know that we could take it, but let's take it right now. And let's show Lair Bear. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Okay. So, what? Let me know if you get it open. Shut up, dude. I'm trying my best. Stop talking to me. Okay, so puzzle box. Let's see what we can do with that. I guess I need one more thing. I got that weird box from here. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay, so should I talk to Larry one more time? It's getting pretty cold. We should head back inside now. Ready when you are. I don't think there's anything here. So, I think... We have to look around Larry's apartment a little bit more. But yeah, let me snoop around here. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything else you need. Thanks, Sally. I kind of like this time jump. Holy shit, look at this Zordon looking face. It's kind of creepy. But let's go to the living room. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Who in the holy fuck is Megan? Um, can we talk? Hey, Lisa. Feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back into it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful, too. I'll be just fine. You don't look fine, but whatever you say, lady. Let me go in the living room, and let's see what else we got. I'm not gonna leave. I have no idea who Meg is, and I have no idea who Chug is. I do remember a demon being right here, making themselves some spaghetti and meatballs or some shit. They were just chilling in the kitchen. But let me go in the bathroom. Is this where I saw it? Nope. Okay, this is usually where people go to release the demons. I don't think that a demon is actually in there. So, let me go find out who Megan actually is. Unless I met them in episode one and I just don't remember. There's a security camera here now. And there's some green-haired fuck weasel right here. Chug, what are you up to? Oh, this is the infamous Chug? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to come fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? <laughs> Rico's Modish Wife. I already love this game because I used to love watching Rocco's Modern Life when I was a kid. It's one of my favorite cartoons. And the fact that they even just like made a little reference to that, I love it already. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Okay, that's great. Looks like the vending machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. I was gonna make a joke about that, but you already did it, so I'm just gonna shut my whole ass up. Let me see what else we got here. Lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. I guess people are stealing shit from the lost and found because there's like a security camera right here. Really? Who keeps leaving their clothes in here? Yeah, they're stank ass clothes. I am going to find Megan. At least we got introduced to Chug. I mean, Chug is exactly what I pictured a Chug to look like. But let's see. Can I go here? I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Look at Sally knowing every neighbor in the building. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. What about here? Whose house is this? 
This is an empty home. But I'm gonna explore anyway. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Holy shit. Somebody took a shit so nasty that it still lingers after all this time. So this is David's place. Let me see. Oh, I saw. Was he an ups to today? Have you ever seen any ghosts around? Man's look like he don't even know where his pants are, and I'm asking him about ghosts. Okay. Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Uh, what about like a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally, Yin's gotta lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. What happened to your pants? Oh, well, they're in the worst deal. Sorrow was supposed to go get them up, but we just get to talk, not, you know? Lost track of time. I felt like I had a stroke reading that. Let me say see ya. See ya. So, oh, his pants are in the washer? No wonder that smell smelled like that. College students. They're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. Yeah, they're busy with the... I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after what happened next door. Yeah, I wouldn't want to either. Like, would you guys ever want to live in a place where somebody got killed or even next to it? I feel like I would have a hard time sleeping at night every single night. It would just be weird. Because I would always think like a spirit is wandering around. But there's definitely different ambience on this floor again. I can't go in there because that's locked. And this is open. But why though? I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe that Addison apartments are haunted. Oh, Megan is a ghost? Larry, you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll pass out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. Megan is a ghost. Okay, that's actually very interesting. So Sally has a third eye. So, what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Oh boy, I kinda got the chills. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan? Are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She could be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm gonna prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud. And if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also in the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Man, fuck Todd! Todd? Really? Huh. I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. I totally read Larry wrong. Like, he seems like a good guy. Or maybe he's the one with the mask on, and he's actually just putting up a front, and he's actually a bad guy. I don't know. I'm on edge, though, because I'm a seasoned veteran when it comes to games like this, and I feel like nothing's ever as it seems, but we'll figure it out. So, I need to talk to Todd. No idea where the hell Todd could be. What is this? Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much time left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mind can drift a great deal, wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts, and the world makes less and less sense. Yeah, 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 okay, let me ask you some questions. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had something to ask? How long have you lived here? Have you ever seen any ghosts in the building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Because you're gonna be one soon? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. 
You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes. It's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you could say we are all ghosts, really. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail- Shut up! I'm out of here. If you haven't seen any ghosts, I want no part of your old stank ass. So Todd is in room 202. Let's see if he'll let us in. Da -da -da. Hey, Sally face. Let me see your face. Oh, okay. Sorry, it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Hi, Ash. I'm in love, apparently, judging by the sounds. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, uh, me? <laughs> you have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Um, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Thank you. Okay, so man's in love. You too. Is he replaying things in his head? You all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. <laughs> Let's start off the conversation like that, yeah. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. That's the only reason why I'm here, because I need you. You are a tool to get me from point A to point Z. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh? Really? Yes, it does seem to be a strange dink that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though that is only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah? Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. Whatever you say, Todd. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Do the Gear Boy always lights up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not gonna hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? Nothing is happening, and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Okay, so we have to find those two things for whoever the hell this guy is, apparently. You know where I actually haven't checked? I haven't even checked Sally's place. There could be some things over there. Plus, I haven't talked to my dad. We need some bonding time, some father-child time, so... Let's go see if I have like an antenna or at least a battery pack. Because if I can't find anything, this shit's gonna... Are you really watching TV? Are we really doing this right now, Gizmo? What you watching, buddy? Oh, I've never seen that one. I think I saw something that said Edward Shovel Hands. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Dad? Father? Can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. Spend some time with me, Daddy. I love you. Why won't you love me back? Hey, mind if I borrow the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. 
Thank you, dude. Okay, so we got the antenna. Hopefully, this will work for the Gear Boy upgrade. All right, so let's go back to Toddy Boy. Will this work for the reception? Keycard, walkie-talkie, antenna. Yes, this will work perfectly. Are you serious? Will this work for the power? Yes, that battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the Gear Boy that I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. Yeah, who is this guy? Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. But I don't have a walkie-talkie no more. Um, cool? Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is all right. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. When it's flashing, press that R button to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it is exactly what somebody who didn't get the gist of it would say. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. That's definitely not something that I had on my bingo card of hearing today. Whenever you're ready, hold the Super Gear Boy by pressing Shift. Got it. And I see the green aura, so ba bam Did that do anything? Huh, maybe I... Whoa. It worked! Holy crap. Hello? What's the matter? I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh, God. What a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no! What? What is it? He's here! Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Bro flushed himself down the toilet. I saw that. Hold on. Give me one second. I can't use the charge? That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm gonna search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out and make sure it's okay. Sure. Let's see. How do I check if it's okay? Let me see the gear boy. Let me play. Let me figure out if there's anything weird going on here. I'm seeking providence. Okay. I can play chapter three. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity. Perhaps it was destiny. Perhaps it was this bald ass dude looking all sad that's about to go in this church. What is this? Sorry, members only. Oh, I'm not a member? Bro, we're both bald. We're in the same club. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. All these rooms look the same. Shut up, dude. Okay, so up. Oh, okay. I have to figure it out like this. Up. Trial and error, huh? Right. Down. Up, right, down. Maybe left. Damn it. Okay. Up. Right. Down. Let me try right. Oh, nice. Hello, my love. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. 
That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible. What goes on in this place? It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady, such as yourself, so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. And that's it. Okay, thank you for that. I thought the gear boy was messed up. But the only thing messed up was that sad story. And that lady who's been troubled by the church or whatever. So, what I need to do... I need to go back to the fifth floor. And we need to talk to that bathroom ghost. Alright, here we go. Pop this sucker out and... Ba bam No? Wait. We don't ba bam It was here where I saw the red-eyed demon. Somewhere here, right? Yup, right here. Boom! Who's there? Oh shit. Like that's real cult type stuff right there. What the? What the is right? Oh, chapter six is now unlocked. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the council required. And I'm playing as this person. Did I really get hit by those freaking spikes? Okay, I need to stop being a pinche pendejo right now. Dude, it's so slippery. Hold on, go up. There you go. Okay. The controls are slippery. Bro, it's like I'm ice skating in this bitch. Okay, go up. There you go. Woo! Talk to me. Come on. If you're gonna talk to me, talk to me. Nice. Please be something here. What is that? Okay, skull. Skull means good. So let's go down here. I really don't want to start this again. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, come on now. Come on now. They call me Clutch. Oh, shh. There you are. Got it. Okay. I think I got two of them? Or do I need more? Okay, I gotta go this way. I got you. I got you. Bam! Okay. So we got all of them. And the cultists say, I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. Whoa! Is that supposed to be the red ghost inside of Larry's kitchen? Let me see what Larry thinks about everything. Check out the Super Gear Boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh, yeah. He needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully it will help to find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Okay, so I think my mission is to actually search for supernatural hotspots. So I do have to finish every chapter in the Gear Boy. So let's go find more hotspots. Yup, I knew it with your old ass. Oh, fuck. I didn't expect that. Hold on, wait. Oh my. What is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Well, the power of Christ compels you, bitch. Chapter 1. She desperately sought a place among the council. So the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the book of forgotten truths. Okay. Um, let's go through this again. Bro, this is harder than a freaking calculus quiz. Going through these damn spikes. Okay, okay, okay. Very, very slowly. We got this, everybody. Come on, one take. Jay's in the building. There we go. Take the book. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. That can't be good. That can't be right. So we have one, two, three, four, five more ghosts to unlock. Fook me silly senpai. Oh, there's something right here. I knew it. With ambience like this on this floor, there had to have been something here. Okay, another one of those cult symbols. So that didn't look good. Wait a minute, I didn't even unlock anything. Oh, here's another one by this bloody birdcage. Wonder what happened over here. Okay, another cult symbol. So if I'm supposed to find all of the things, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, if I'm supposed to find all these locations, I'm running out. 
because I think I've been to every floor. This is my last floor. And I've only found like three or four locations. So let me see what chapter I unlock now. I have unlocked chapter nothing. Here we go. Right here. Where Charlie's living room used to be. With all those ponies. How come it looked like that? It looked green. Um, what? So we got an achievement called Devour. Um, is that it? Did I unlock any new chapters? Am I supposed to be unlocking chapters, or is this just, like, bonus stuff? Because I have no idea what's going on. Hold on. Um, yeah. I don't know what that means. There's got to be something up here. Come on now. Like, there's no way. Yup. I was going to say, there's no way that there's not something right here. And that one's actually a face. So? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson, a.k.a. the most generic name I've ever heard? No. <laughs> You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. Remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? The red ball. Something about red ball and then a bunch of jibber jabber. But we unlocked another chapter, I think. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. So I think that we unlocked the chapter. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again or see if he's found anything. Okay, so at least we have some direction. But first, let me play the new chapter because I think that we unlocked something. It said that there's a new one. Yep, chapter two and chapter three. Okay, wait, no, we already did chapter three. So let's check chapter two. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. Let me see what you're talking about. Wait. Oh, shit. Okay, I just shocked my titties. Let's... Can I stop? Okay. Press this. Got that. Thank you. All right. Let's go this way. And this better be the last one. Or I will commit some sins. I know this is a cult thing, but I will start sinning. Let's see what's in here. That's it. Okay. We didn't get any explanation, but let's go back to Todd. I found something interesting. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age seven, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg, from my bathroom, was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here along with her parents. Says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Where? Hold on, where have we seen it? Talk to Todd in 202. We just did. But we have Megan's photo. Her necklace may be of some significance. I'm assuming I have to find that necklace. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Where did we see that thing? Was it in the Lost and Found? Gotta be here, right? I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. I'm too good, everybody! I'm like that! Okay, so now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Right, let's do this. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Jesus. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles! That's, That's not, not a nice, nice word, word, Larry. You're seven years old. You should never know what that word means anyway, so you should never know that it's good or bad. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little bit different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? 
I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? That's a very deep question to ask, but let's do it. I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad! Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. So did Larry's dad die too at that lake? Is this your necklace? Hey, yes! Where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of a lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh! What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... That reminds me of House. When Dad came at the stroke of midnight, and then the girl had to, like, do everything in order to survive the dad. Shit! Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to go into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor and see what I can do. Thank you, Sally, for telling me exactly where it is, because you know my dumbass would go from floor to floor, and I had no idea who the hell David is. Oh, David's the dude with no pants. Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See? Those kids next door in 301, they're nice kids and alls, but they have these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If Yens could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could let Yens borrow the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I'm all, all out of clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See us. Or I could just get your pants downstairs in the dryer, but it is what it is. Let me talk to these college students real quick. And this is not what I expected. I expected a lot more partying and not book club. Hey, Sierra. What are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. D plus D, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, and debate. Fun. How about this? Eh, we usually do D plus D on Thursday, so I sort of want to do something different tonight. Oh, okay. Um, let's not do D plus D. Hey, CJ. Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Okay. Let's see. Is that good? That's not good. What about that? How about this? Love it. Good choice, little man. No problem, bud. Oh, wait. I have to find something that is calm for the crowbar, right? So I can have the crowbar with me? Wait. Maybe I can actually find a hotspot here? Yeah, I still have to find those freaking hotspots. Okay, let me talk to you, Azaria. Hey, Z, what's up? Hey, Sally Face. I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Okay, so I have to find something that's pretty quiet for the other guy so I can borrow the crowbar. So let's do, um, charades? How about this game? That was my first choice as well. Maybe I should just stick with my gut on this one. You're welcome. Okay, now I know what to do. Can we switch this, CJ? Um, let's find something cool. How about that? Is that good? Classical? How about this? Huh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. And you. Let's do this. Let's do a chess tournament. How about this? 
It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Oh. Okay. I get it. Maybe telephone? How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could just be what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. Okay. So that's what I had to do. I couldn't talk to the guy with no pants because I didn't get three for three with the party stuff. I think that does it. The party should be much quieter now. Yeah. Take it from me, the college party expert. Let's get it. Sup, brother? Can I borrow that crowbar now? I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah will be so happy too. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you as one second. No question on what I'm gonna use the crowbar for. Here you go, buddy, take care. No problem. Thanks, you too. So now we have to investigate 504 bedroom. All right, so let's unboard this bedroom. And let's see what we got. Should I use the crowbar? Yes. Let's see what we got over here. Oh shit, holy hole. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Crawl through the creepy hole and point of no return? Holy shit, it's so official. And now I'm in the point of no return. So let's see what we got over here. I got hotspot activity. Here we go, got 5G network. Hello? Whoa, Luke, can you hear me? Oh my God. Holy crap, that was creepy. Okay, I obviously can't show that one part because that's an automatic demonetization. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Wait, Larry saw the whole thing? Todd gave me one of his invitations. He said that theoretically, it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed like it took care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he just... Sorry, bud. Yeah, I know, the milk, it always wins. Milk is undefeated. The cigarettes, too. But it's okay, Larry. That's actually pretty sad, though. All jokes aside, like, I want to know what happened to the dad. We still have that box, though. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. I know that look. Wait, that was only part two of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, <laughs> these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse. Please, just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a freaking psycho, eh? I think that he's had a come to Jesus moment right now. Maybe he does believe him, right? Yeah, he's gonna go to the treehouse. And then there's more evidence that goes against Sally Face. And then it just like further piles onto the mountain of evidence that they have against him. I'm assuming, because I don't know what he did. I'm assuming that it's murder though. It's gotta be. And all these years later, the apartment building is abandoned. I wonder what happened to the dad. Now we're playing as this guy, Buttface. Let's see, boxes. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Okay. What about these shelves? Rusty tools and other various junk. A few old amateur paintings. Probably Larry's. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see for myself. Sal was so convincing and this whole thing has seemed off. Oh shit. Wait, Larry? Wait, dead Larry though. Dr. Enon? Whoa, whoa! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. 
You have to get Cell out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please, you have to get it, Cell here. This, you can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Cell doesn't get here soon, then. And he, wait, did he fall out of the freaking treehouse? Bro's about to be a ghost too. Shit. Oops. I mean, if you spawn in like that, you don't think that anybody would be freaked out? And he's dead. He is out like a light. Fook. <laughs> the one guy that could have been on our side. He is now a ghost of the apartment buildings. But yeah, um, Larry's dead. That pretty much sucks. I wonder how he died then. Oh, wait, red ball. They said don't forget about the red ball, that one floating ghost inside of the treehouse. So what does this mean? Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. It says, find me in the white room. You don't forget what I told you. Okay. Find me in the white room. Don't forget what I told you. I won't. This floating head ghost, whoever you are. But you must not speak of this place to others. Something, something, something. Okay. I got it. The only one who believed you is dead now. What should I do? Run. Huh? Run. Run! What is that, the media? Pull lever. Nope. Help. Help. No, help me. Help me, help me, help me! Oh shit, sorry. Okay. Ah! Fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm scared! Shit, that is the media. Bro, there used to be a door here. Yeah, the only one who believed me had to have been Larry. He's dead now. And is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of bologna? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. All right. Episode three, the baloney incident. Okay, everybody. So I am gonna end this episode here. A lot of questions that we have right now. Like what happened to Larry? What happened to Larry's dad? How was I supposed to open that box? Was I supposed to open it in chapter two or are we supposed to open it in chapter three? And just all the friends that Sally Face has met along the way. He's on trial for what I'm assuming is murder, but we are unpeeling the layers of this story one by one. If you guys want to see episode three as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cobb Scouts is that dude.